What's up guys, Quasi here, bringing you guys another tutorial. Uh, this time it is on my old graffiti style, as you can see here. Snipers Free HQ got a uh, top comment with, can you do a tut on your old graffiti style, please? And 16 people liked it, so I'm assuming you guys wanted to see it. If you guys don't know what it is, here's background with it. Um, and then here's another background with it. It's quite simple. It's just like a graffiti uh, wall looking thing in some normal text renders. But there's some other stuff I do a little differently. And I'm just going to be showing you the Cinema 4D part because the Photoshop part I did differently on each background and it, like, I didn't like it at all. And I, I'm so bad at Photoshop. So you guys probably can do that by yourself. But the thing is, uh, for the graffiti material I did oil paint that just alone because it look, looked pretty cool but yeah so getting into this basically what you're gonna want to do is get your setup uh, you're gonna need a few materials um, I'm just gonna use a black material uh, this graffiti material from Vipers uh, V1 pack uh, download will be in the description and then some kind of colored material I have a reflection on 1% it's a Fresnel um, texture but I mean it's whatever, you just need a colored material. Um, and then what you're going to do is uh, set up your text or logo. So I'm going to just get uh, the phase logo in here because it's nice and simple and it's only one path. Easy to work with. And uh, we'll get the point across basically. So I'm just going to set that up in the middle, get some extruded nerves. And um, if you're curious about like what I'm going to be doing, uh, it's 100 uh, depth and then uh, fill it cap on one centimeter although if your light room is bigger or smaller you might have to do more or less just depending on your light room but uh, that's what it is for me so if you downloaded uh, any of my last like three packs that I gave out um, this is the light room I use because this is the light room I always use because it's I don't know just like it but yeah so once you've done that you're gonna want to duplicate any uh, kind of whatever you have, like whatever text or whatever logos you have, duplicate all the extrude nerves, then select um, the duplicated ones and right click and group them into folder, so group objects. Then you're going to want to double click on the two gray dots over to the right so it's hidden. Um, then with the uh, remaining extrude nerves uh, you're going to want to put the, um, the graffiti material on that and make sure you select it and put the projection on cubic <clears throat> just like so um, then you can adjust that um, so I'm gonna kinda do this make it take up the full full logo like that alright looks great <clears throat> then I'm gonna select that extruder nerve, duplicate it get some atom array Put that in there. Um, then put it on. Put the sphere radius on 0.7, and it will adjust the cylinder radius radius as well. And then just put your colored material on there. Then what you're going to do is get the. Ex you can either use the graffiti extruder or you can go in here into the null <coughs> and duplicate that extruder. And so I'm just going to do that. Um, then I'm going to add my black material and then I'm going to go to plugins nitro blast or you can use Thrausi. I use Thrausi on my old ones but I think nitro blast will look better so I'm going to put a hundred pieces quality on high thickness at five and fracture that then I'm going to drag the black material onto this yellow material here and then just delete the blue and yellow material because it's not going to need them. And then what you're going to want to do is go to MoGraph Fracture, put the Nitro Blast Extrude Nerves in there, right click them, delete without children, select the Nitro Blast object, delete it, um, click on the main pieces, right click, delete without children, delete the static, right click on dynamic, delete without children, minimize the fracture, and you're good. Um, then you're going to want to select the fracture, make sure you have it selected or this won't work. Then go to MoGraph Effector Random and it should just burst the pieces. Then you're going to want to bring down the strength until you see fitting. So 
like that's pretty good and um, <clears throat> if there's too many uh, too much graffiti on the logo you think you can um, always uh, make another fracture and do the same thing uh, maybe make it a little bigger drag some more pieces out actually you could go into the fracture get a piece and drag it out if it's too far behind all these are pretty good see if I if I wanted this space black I could just drag this piece out here and be good but I think this is alright so uh, once you've done that you're gonna wanna go into the uh, null that is hidden duplicate the extrude nerves <clears throat> then you're going to want to drag it back just a bit and then you're going to want to right click select children hit C on the keyboard to make it edible <clears throat> and then right click select children right click connect objects and delete then what you're going to want to do is get a platonic and just make it really kind of small so something like that then get an atom array Put the platonic in the atom array. Uh, make sure the sphere radius is at about 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Again, adjust it as accordingly for your Lightroom. Then you're going to want to go to MoGraph Cloner and uh, put the atom array in the cloner. <clears throat> and then go to the cloner settings. Make sure you're on object. Go to mode and go to object. And then there should be an uh, arrow thing down here next to object and you're going to want to click that and then go click the extrude nerves that you made edible and then you should have just like these dots appear around the edge of the logo and stuff then you're going to want to go in, into your cloner settings again um, the go to distribute this distribution dis, distribution dis, I'm not even going to I'm done uh, the D word there distribution distribution dis distribution there we go oh man we gotta go back to school in three weeks that sucks uh, okay anyway uh, you're gonna wanna go to uh, one of these settings you can choose whatever you want uh, depending on how you want it uh, I think I go surface and then yeah and then put the count all the way up so it's kinda just like all around there and then I'm gonna select the extrude nerve and go back even a little bit further so right there then I'm gonna get my colored material put it on the cloner there we go and then um, you're gonna go back and duplicate the extruder with the graffiti texture on it and then go to plugins and you're gonna nitro blast this again with the same exact settings so quality high pieces at 100 uh, thickness at 5 and I'm like slowly losing my voice um, then fracture it <clears throat> and then do the same thing get rid of the yellow add the graffiti material this time not the black material just get rid of those and then um, once again you're going to get your MoGraph fracture put your nitro blast in there <clears throat> right click delete without children delete the nitro blast object right click main pieces delete without children delete static right click on dynamic delete without children then minimize select MoGraph effector random uh, then go to parameter and check rotation and just put random settings in I go like 50 70 90 and then uh, select the fracture and just drag it back so it's behind the logo so something like that and then that's basically it um, I'm just gonna render this out for you guys um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial because I mean it was it was requested for a while but I never actually thought you guys wanted it I thought it was just some kid that wanted it and was liking his own comments and stuff but uh, I guess you guys did sorry about my voice um, and sorry if this tutorial is bad I ran three miles today and I didn't eat anything afterwards because I just was like not feeling good because um, you know you like got push yourself and um, yeah but that's basically it um, again leave a comment on what tutorial you would like to see top comment will again be featured in next week's tutorial I'm trying to do these weekly maybe twice a week uh, I just need ideas for them basically it's the only part that's missing out um, but yeah school or not school preseason starts for me officially Monday today is 
Thursday. You, this you will be seeing this Friday or after. So in about three days, I'm going to be starting preseason and uh, going to be going really inactive because of that. But uh, I'll still get uploads out every three to four days, hopefully. Um, probably do more tutorials because they take less time than doing a full out speed art and all that good stuff. But yeah, so. If you guys want to see like the Photoshop part of this, just let me know. I'll just save this render just in case. But yeah, so as you can see, this is a really bright. It's actually a really cool render. Um, you can get really creative with it in Photoshop and all that good stuff. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Peace.